I'm using water mixable oils and I have all my usual colors on here. Titanium white, cadmium yellow light, raw sienna, raw umber, French ultramarine blue, sap green, and alizarin crimson. I prepped my canvas <coughs> with a very bright blue. I think I did it in the wrong light. Um, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, and today I'm going to do a rooster. So I'm using um, raw sienna and I'm going to sketch my rooster. Okay, so um, we're going to say the head is here. And the back comes down here, the neck, the breast, up to the tail. We have his legs here. I'm eyeballing this. I have no idea where Wooster's legs really go. Maybe they go out that way a bit more. And his feet. And he has a, um, what do they call that? And two of those. I can't remember what they call that. And he has um, a rough, sort of a rough. And he has wings. Okay, so that's my rough shape. Oh, I forgot to put in an eye. He'll look better when I've worked on I think I'm going to look at beaks because that does not look like the right shape. I think it comes down more like that. Okay, I'm going away to look at Okay, roosters. I think I've got a better idea of what a rooster's beak looks like. It sort of comes down. And then the other one comes up. That's more like it. And um, I looked at a few of these, and these sort of coxcomb things vary quite a little, uh, quite a lot. But this is my impression. I'm I'm not painting a photograph. I'm painting my impression. Years ago, I used to paint um, sap buckets. Those are the collection buckets for maple syrup. They've all gone to using tubing, or most people have gone to using tubing, the, the large suppliers. And um, But back in the day, they used buckets. First they used galvanized ones, and then they went to aluminum ones. But most of them fell out of use in favor of plastic tubing from tree to tree. So um, I used to buy those in bulk and paint different designs on them and the rooster was one of my best selling designs. I used to sell them at the um, Lakewood Antique Market in Atlanta. Was it the Lakewood? I think it was called the Lakewood. It's so long ago, years and years ago. Um, anyway, like I say, it was one of my best selling. I think that's a little too fat there. I think we're gonna slim him down a little bit. Let's see if I can scrub some of this off. Now he's a little too slim. Okay, we need a happy medium here. Okay, 
So that's just the wing. This is going to be his ruff. They have this sort of ruff of feathers. And then um, I think I've got that curling around the wrong way too. I think it should be up and over this way. I'm going to wipe that out as well. That looks better. I think I'm putting that leg back there. I'll get there. It might take me a little while. I think that is sort of a better shape. Just using a quarter inch flat and I'm just going to mixing a yellow, cadmium yellow light with um, some raw sienna. Mix in some alizarin crimson into that mix and give him sort of some wings which are a nice bright colour. More yellow to make a sort of russety belly. Then I'm mixing sap green and ultramarine blue and I'm going to give him feathers that are a sort of bluish green. I think that's coming along. I might do this again um, with my canvas going in the other direction because you know um, I can't display his tail as well as I would like. I don't have room here. Putting in some dark and then I'll put in some more light over that. might do things in the wrong order but I eventually sort of get to where I want to be. Mixing up alizarin crimson, some yellow, and some titanium white. And I'm going to put on that coxcomb. And I think these are a little light. It's quite abstract looking, isn't he? to put the air on it's quite warm in here at the moment I have my dryer going and I think it's warming up the air too much I think we're getting there okay so just remember to paint your impression because if you get too close to a photograph it it loses its charm
That's what I think. And there's quite a variety in roosters, you know, they, uh, there's a huge variety in color and in shape even, so really you can't go wrong. They have these like capri pants. This um, can hang off the back quite a way, actually. Uh, I'm make it darker on that side. Got water fail. That's better. Using my quarter inch flat, I get sort of stuck. I think I'm going to get more green in there. I have to do this with my canvas in the opposite direction because I feel. Uh, I feel it's a bit crunched. In this direction. I might have um, chosen the wrong way to do it, but that's okay. I'll show you this way. And then I'll do one in the other direction. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, they have like a little spur. using around now, I managed to put my other one aside. A bit of a mess. His eye comes where his beak is, so it's sort of round there. I'm going to take this down a little bit.
I don't know. You can just take it out. That's better. Sometimes a wet piece of tissue will do wonders. We're coming along. Okay, Please. so we've got paint on there. Um, so I'm going to start. I've got a large round. I'm going to start putting things on a little in a more orderly fashion, I suppose. So, oops. They have some big feathers underneath. And then um, they have like, actually, it's usually sort of one or two feathers. I think I might have gone overboard with the feathers a bit. So I'm going to use my wet tissue and I'm going to take out some of these. Whoops. I'm trying not to use too much tissue. So I don't like to be wasteful. And for most things, I've managed to give up paper towel. Um, that's looking a little more orderly, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to um, make this a little more part of his chest and taking out that I got I went a little overboard I've got to say painted them in years. Okay. I want to make this look more feathery. I'm going to take that out there. I'm going to put some more on there. Because their feathers are have an iridescence to them. Um, and if you see them in the sunshine, they are the most beautiful bird. So they've got a lot of light reflected. So I'm going to remove some of that. And I'm going to make it a little darker with a sort of orangey color.
I think that's I think that's better. So his coxcomb should come down onto his beak. We're going to make it darker at the bottom. I've just mixed um, French ultramarine blue to make it darker and to make this side. alizarin on my palette. Okay. It's straight alizarin. This is going to That's better. Then this comes from under the beak, sort of the cheek. Could have put a little red in here and here to cheer it up a little bit. Mix in some titanium white and do a little yellow with my green. Just to bring in some light into those feathers. I think we're getting there. Can't leave well alone, that's not how I paint.
think it's coming along. Going to put a dot of white in the eye. That's not to say it's finished. It's just to say I might be getting there. I have to leave it and um, look at it for a while. Like for instance, I already know that I need to put some color on these feet. This brush is dreadful. Okay, so I'm going to um, I'm going to leave that for a little while look at it and decide what else I need to do because I will undoubtedly find something else to do. Well I had a look at it and I think it's more or less done. I don't want it too like nitpickingly detailed but I'm going to put some light on the beak like that. I'm going to fluff up a little here. Put some lights on here actually that's a little too much Put a little bit more on the chest. I'm going to put some light on the legs down here. A little bit more light on the get at the back. I uh, I don't think I want to mess with it anymore, really. I think I'm going to call it a day at that. Well, I ended up putting a little light on his cheeks and his comb. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun painting it. If you did, please uh, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. That helps the algorithm find me and you can see more of my videos. And thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye for now. I'll see you next time.